The Xbox Series X is getting all the attention, but we need to talk about xCloud. What's up everybody, Brad here back again, and this week has been all about the Xbox Series X, as it should be. Microsoft came out and talked about 12 T-flops, RDNA 2.0, um, a little bit more about the CPU, and just a little bit of, you know, information here, there, game resuming, and all that good stuff. We need to talk about xCloud because, well, the hardware side of Microsoft is fascinating. And don't get me wrong, I'm absolutely going to be buying an Xbox Series X day one, day zero, hour zero, whatever you want to call it. But if you want to get excited about the long-tailed future of, of Xbox, and I'm, I'm talking more like 10 years out, like the long-tailed future. If you think a console lasts about 10 years, we're talking beyond the Xbox Series X, where Microsoft is headed. It's going to be xCloud. Microsoft has a marching order from the top down that says, hey, everything should be a software as a service. And while we will sell hardware when it is necessary, it's not their primary focus. Microsoft doesn't make a lot of money, like revenue, or not revenue, but um, net income off of its hardware sales. And they'd much prefer to sell software because the margins are much better. Now, how does Microsoft do that in the Xbox world? Well, they're already starting to do that, right? We have Game Pass, that is a software as a service. We also have Xbox Live, but the bigger kind of item out there that is still floating around, which we're starting to get glimpses of, is xCloud, right? We have the Android application, which is currently the best in class experience. If you want to use xCloud, it has a bunch of oh, over 50 games or something like that. They're adding so many so frequently you lose track. It is also available on iOS, but with only one game or one title, I should say. And so they've still got work to do on iOS and it's not on a browser yet, but we all know that these things are coming more titles to iOS, more features coming to the browser, and you'll soon be able to play it on anything that is a display. Now, there's a couple things we don't know about xCloud yet. First off, we don't know exactly how it's going to retail. Now, Microsoft has said it's going to be part of Game Pass, but we don't know if it's going to be part of just Game Pass as it is today, right? Same price, same sub feature set, and you just pay the money and you get xCloud with it. Or are you going to have to pay more? Is there going to be a standalone bundle of just xCloud? I'm not quite sure how that would work yet, but maybe you you get xCloud and then you can go buy games individually, more like a Stadia model. Microsoft hasn't officially said all the different ways you'll be able to get access, access to xCloud. The other thing we don't know actually is the name. Now, I know there's gonna be a lot of people and I sort of fall into this bucket that says, hey, xCloud is, that's a great name. Microsoft should run with it. It's really cool, it's really trendy, it's really hip. The problem is, is that if you look way into the future, xCloud like, as a product sitting there doesn't really explain or tell you what it is. It's kind of, it's not very descriptive and it doesn't really have anything behind it. Yes, cloud is a big word, but X is used everywhere, right? We have a Surface Pro X, um, X in the automotive me world means four wheel drive. Like X is not a, a good describer of the product because it is used in so many different places. So I would expect Microsoft, hopefully in the near future, potentially even at the game developer conference, we will see, I'm not positive on that, please don't run with that. Um, but it might happen at the game developer conference where we start to hear about what the actual retail name will be. And I, if I was placing bets, I bet it's going to be something generic like Xbox Cloud or something along those lines where Xbox Cloud can be a standalone product and the vast majority of people will know what it is because Xbox is gaming and you put it in the cloud, so it's gaming in the cloud. It's a much easier marketing message, if you will. But there is another feature that is coming that Microsoft has not talked about, which I'm going to tell you about, uh, at least according to people familiar with the company's plans and things that they're working on. Uh, Microsoft is working on a feature that will allow you to stream your PC games across xCloud. Now, I don't have all the details yet, but from what I have heard, it sounds like this is going to be like a GeForce Now competitor, right? Where NVIDIA just launched the service where you can take any game and stream it across their cloud onto any type of device, and then you can play it. It's like five bucks a month or something like that. I, Microsoft is working on that exact same technology and it is coming. It is, I would expect them to announce it here hopefully soon, um, but I don't know the exact date or anything like that. I just know that Microsoft has the technology to where you can play a game on your PC and stream it across xCloud to any type of device. Now, the next question becomes, why do we even need hardware anymore, if you think about it? So this is like the longer kind of bright-eyed, bushy tail look at the future, because think about, it. if you can get 4K 60 frames per second with extremely low latency onto a screen like this, onto your phone, in a browser, do we even need consoles anymore? 
you may not. Now, there's always going to be the scenario of offline gaming, and I understand that there's always going to be a reason why you could want a console. If you want the best experience, especially even today, you're going to want a console for the lowest level latency and the best experience overall because you're not downloading as many assets. But as connectivity improves around the world, like the rollout of 5G, um, you look at how well xCloud actually works. And for those of you who've actually really, really used it, I've used it quite a bit, it works. Like it's not just like smoke and mirrors, like it is there. Um, now it's not perfect, but we're talking in five years from now, would it be perfect? I think it'll be much closer and Microsoft will work on new technologies and get new tricks to get that latency down even lower because they're at a, they're at a stage now where even just a 1% increase in latency or improvement, I should say, is dramatic. And so they're doing a good job and you can kind of look and see how xCloud is going to be that future. And now when you couple that in with being able to stream PC games, um, being able to stream xCloud or Xbox games, it's going to be the future of Microsoft. And that is how they're going to pivot away eventually long term at some point, not talking this generation, don't run with saying Microsoft is getting rid of Xbox hardware. But you can see how this is going to be the backbone of getting everyone into gaming because you no longer need dedicated hardware for it. It's a really, really cool feature. And expect Microsoft to talk, I would expect, hoping more about this at the Game Developer Conference, which takes place uh, in the second half of next month. And we're gonna see a lot of game stacks game stack stuff microsoft always always and always will push game stack at gdc because they're trying to court developers to use their service and one of the ways they're going to court them to use it be like look if you build all this technology your game just works um, on xcloud meaning that hey customers can buy your game and then stream it over our service to their phone to their pc or wherever they are that's a big feature that's just kind of built in um, if you're using microsoft's technology stack and so they're going to start to talk about these narratives and, and try to drum up hype for the x cloud arena i think at gdc at least that is what i'm expecting um i'm not expecting yet at least at least don't it could still happen more details around the series x it's very much possible that we will get more information on things like the variable rate uh shading features and all that stuff that microsoft just talked about in more detail but i I'm not expecting them to come out and say, hey, there's X amount of um, cores on the CPU or um, the transistor count or anything like that or the clock speed. I'm not, not expecting that. Although Microsoft has been surprising us literally on a Monday with uh, raw performance specs. So things are still up in the air about what is coming at GDC. But keep in mind, the, the thing you need to keep your eye on because it's getting lost in a lot of this Xbox Series X hype, which it you know, that's good for the Xbox Series X, it's good, um, is xCloud, because I am very bullish that that is the long-term future for the Xbox brand, and it's, uh, it, it's, it's shaping up to be quite neat, just making sure I hit all my notes there. So that is kind of the, the catching up of bringing everyone together about where the latest of xCloud is, some of the new features that are on the horizon. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this, hit that subscribe button, catch all of you right back here next time.